What's up y'all? My name is Devin. I'm the DIY Lawn Coach. Thank you so much for checking out the video. So I hope you're having a great day because today we're going to move on to the fifth weed in our series talking about clover, right? So clover can be a pretty tricky weed to take care of. Later in the video, I'm going to give you a really good secret, something that you need to make sure that you're doing anytime you're attacking clover, because if you want to get good control, this is the one thing you got to know. Really quick, hit that subscribe button, give the video a like, let's go. So just like with all of the other videos talking about weeds, the most important thing you gotta do is make sure that the weed that you're trying to control is actually the weed that you're going after. Now, clover can be pretty easy. I think we all, you know, for the most part, know what clover looks like, but I've got a little bit of clover growing in my lawn. I'm gonna show you guys exactly what that looks like. If you don't know what clover looks like, what planet have you been living on? But Nonetheless, let's go take a look at some clover. I'm gonna show you what it looks like, and then I'm gonna give you two options for weed control products that you can use. One of which is gonna be something you could pick up at a big box store, and the other one happens to be my single, all-time, most favorite weed control product that I have, and it's something that I use whenever I have weeds. It just controls a lot of products, a lot of uh, different weeds. Stick around to the end, uh, cause I wanna show you that product and we're gonna show you the secret that I was telling you guys a little bit later about how you can control clover. So let's go for a walk and let's look at some clover. All right, so as we walk out into the lawn to take a look at some white clover, I wanna have a little chat. So football season is right around the corner. I don't know if you guys are a football fan like myself. I live here in North Carolina and we have the Panthers. So I'm kind of excited about the season, Bryce Young and you know, new group of wide receivers. We had a tough year last year. So really quick in the comments, let me know down below who is your favorite NFL team or college team if you don't have an NFL team. And uh, I'd love to hear from you. Let, you, let me know who your, who your favorite is. And then also let me know your Super Bowl prediction. I'd love to be able to go back in time and uh, watch this you know, in February and see who you guys said. So just leave me a pic down below. Let me know who your favorite team is and uh, who your prediction is for Super Bowl. So, all right. Enough about that, let's get business. Let's get down to business and talk about what you guys actually came here for. I feel like most of you guys know, again, as I mentioned, what white clover looks like. And this is it, okay? So white clover, uh, typically, I guess, from what I've, what I've read and what research I've done, likes to show up in lawns that are low in nitrogen. So I don't know if you know that's necessarily true in my case, because I feed it pretty well. I don't have a huge, uh, Problem with clover, I've got a couple different patches throughout the lawn. I've got one here, and then I've got another one uh, over here that I'll take care of. I just mowed the lawn a couple days ago, and so any of the white little flowers that normally show up on clover uh, are missing because I've mowed. So one important thing to note about white clover is, or with any weed for that matter, is we never want to apply anything to the lawn when it's over 85 degrees. So today, a little bit overcast, we got a couple inches, we got an inch and a half of rain last night. So the, the turf isn't under a tremendous amount of stress, which is really important. Anytime we're applying an herbicide, we don't want to add any undue stress to the lawn. So we're under 85 and soil's got good moisture in it. You know, it's the middle of August right now. If the weather wasn't conducive to spraying, I probably wouldn't worry so much about this, but because we've got good weather conditions, we've got plenty of rain, like I just mentioned, I'm not worried about applying an herbicide. So that's what we're gonna do. So let's walk back over. I'm gonna show you guys two, two products or two options that you have for controlling clover. All right, guys, so Talking about clover, well, first of all, this is my GCI Turf Husqvarna Sprayer Elite little pump sprayer here. Actually, I'm just kidding. This is just something I picked up at the hardware store. I think I bought this a couple years ago. It's just a two, two gallon pump sprayer. And the only thing I use this for is for weed control. I don't put fungicides in here. I don't put any uh, non-selective herbicides in here. The only thing I use this for is for weed control, just because I don't like I don't feel comfortable mixing other products together. I don't want to 
accidentally you know not rinse this out good enough and, and and cause damage i've shown this product a couple different times this is the ortho weed clear and it is a simple uh, three-way herbicide contains dicamba 2,4-D and quinclorac. Uh, if you didn't see my other video, this is the same weed control that I use or recommend using as a homeowner type weed control for crabgrass because of the quinclorac. But for clover, the active ingredient that works really well for clover is the dicamba. So, uh, and this has about half a percent of dicamba in it. So this will work great. Relatively inexpensive. Again, pick this up at Lowe's, Home Depot, Amazon. I'll leave links down below to all the products that you see. And you can also check out my website, thediyloncoach.com. I have links to all of the products there. So, you know, if you ever want to go there and check it out, I've got merch for sale, hats. So if you're looking for a hat, want to support me, support the channel, any of those links, you know, buying merch always helps the channel. I've got lawn plans for sale as well. We're coming up on fall. So if you're looking for a lawn plan, and you know you want to support the channel i would love it if you would do that don't have to but would, would really appreciate it if you did so the secret ingredient to taking care of clover is the is you got to use what's called a surfactant all right so a surfactant is going to allow the beads of the water to be better absorbed into the plant I'm gonna put a, a little bit of water in this pump sprayer, and then we're gonna go out and spray this, and I'm gonna show you guys what happens when you put just the plain water on the plant, and we're gonna show you how it beads up. And then when we go back and we spray the herbicide on it, I'm gonna show you again, and I want you to see the difference and see why having a surfactant inside your sprayer makes you give better control. So stick with me, let's go check it out. All right, so what I'm gonna do is I've got just a gallon of just plain, regular old water in my, in my pump sprayer. I'm gonna charge this up. And then I've got a fine mist tip. Here, I'll show you the tip of the sprayer so that when I spray this out, we'll get good, good even coverage. I'm gonna charge this up. Okay, and then I'm just gonna lightly spray this. Just like I would coat it if I wasn't doing it normal. All right, so I just lightly sprayed it with the, just the plain water. And I'm gonna throw up a picture of the actual beads of water on top of the clover so that you can see the difference. And then we'll do this again once I add the surfactant. I wanna show you guys the difference as to why you get so much better control when you use a surfactant. So let's walk back over and let's mix up some chemicals and then we'll come back out and spray this and show you guys the difference. So I mentioned using a surfactant and you don't have to use, you know, a professional formulation, which, which is what this is. You know, you can certainly just use Dawn dish soap, but you know, I'll leave links to both of those below. You can choose whichever one you want. So my all time favorite weed control and what we're going to use today is called uh, Tenacity or Miso Trione. This is the Miso 4SC. This is just the non-generic, oh, this is the generic uh, form of tenacity and what it comes with is this little measuring syringe and all you do is just stick this down in here we pull out what we want to how much we want to use and what's really cool about it is it has it gives you the measurement so it says gallons per water or gallons of water plus the amount of tenacity that you need let's say we were going to use a, a gallon of water which is exactly what we're going to use we're going to stick this in there we're going to pull it up to the one gallon and then we'll squeeze it in there and that's it. So that's really cool. Nice little feature for using this herbicide. Keeps it, keeps it nice and clean, really easy to measure. But why I like it so much is because it's really cost effective. Um, I'm not sure what this bottle costs, maybe 40 bucks, I think. Uh, hopefully, I'll, uh, if not, I'll, I'll leave it down below so you guys can go check it out. But super low use rate and it controls a ton of different weeds. So, you know, if, Again, I try to, I like to have one product that gives me as much flexibility because I'm limited on storage space. I don't want to have to carry a weed control for this weed and a weed control for that weed. I, you know, I just like to have one product and be able to knock out a whole bunch of weeds all in one, all in one fail swoop. Plus, this also has some pre-emergent capabilities as well. So it helps stop, you know, crabgrass and things like that at time of seeding. So you can actually apply this when you put down your grass seed and you will get a little bit of pre-emergent capabilities. Again, that's 
not necessarily the reason why I like it, but when you add up all the benefits, you know, that, that's why, I, this is why this is my absolute favorite. So this is the one I keep the most of and the one I use all the time. I'm gonna shut up and we're gonna mix this up and uh, we'll go back out and I'll show you guys spraying it. And then that's it, we'll wrap this video up. up on the camera and show you guys just how small those water droplets are and basically what happened is when I sprayed that weed control because it has that surfactant on it the water just beads or not doesn't bead it just spreads across the weed so clover has a really waxy coating on it and so a lot of times the reason why you don't get good control on clover is because you don't use a surfactant so now you know the secret to how to control clover it may take a reapplication in about two weeks not worried about that if I need to go back and reapply, but because I added that surfactant, I should get really good control. Go back and check out some of the other weed control videos. I've got, uh, just made one on Poa annua, Nuts Edge, Bermuda grass. So if you struggle with those weeds too, go back and check those out. Thank you so much for subscribing to the channel. I really appreciate it. And um, with that being said, my name's Devin. I'm the DIY Lawn Coach. Peace. Mm -hmm.